Hey guys, Kimbichuchi here, back with another video. This one is also going to be a little bit different of a video. Uh, here we got the Black Ops 1 Song Timer Tutorial. Um, this timer was also made by Zio, who also made the one for Black Ops 2, which if you don't have, go ahead and check out that video. I'll have a card linked probably above. Uh, but huge shout out to Zio for making this. We really appreciate it. I personally appreciate it, so thank you, man. Uh, thank you for putting the work and helping our community out. I really do appreciate it, and I know we all do. So I'll have all the Zio stuff linked in the description. Please go uh, show them some love, show them some support. Um, but anyways, um, with this timer, unlike the Black Ops 2 one, where it mainly only works with Plutonium and Redacted, this one works with Steam and Plutonium, uh, which are the two main uh, ways you're going to be able to play Black Ops 1. So for the Black Ops 1 version on Plutonium, you're going to need, obviously, the mod, uh, I'll have this linked in the description, so all you gotta do is click on it and go ahead and click on the song timer mod. And then you're also gonna need WinRAR, which is a file extractor, so you'll be able to put the file exactly where you need. You'll need to use a uh, game mod, which is another file I'll have linked down in the description. You'll have to use that for Steam, but for right now we're just gonna focus on Plutonium. So as soon as you click on this, uh, it'll pop up down here on the downloads. You go ahead and download it, and then with your new WinRAR, you're going to pop it up, and it's going to have these two folders. You're going to go on ahead and hover over the song timing mod. Make sure it's uh, V1.1, which is the newest patch, and if there are any other new patches, uh, you'll just be able to check it out on here. We're going to go ahead and press Extract 2, and then on here, you're going to go to C Drive. You're going to go to Users whatever name's on the computer. You're gonna to go to App Data, Local, scroll down to Plutonium. And from here, you're gonna to go to Storage, T5, Mods, and make sure uh, your cursor last pressed on Mods, and you can know what it is because it'll be uh, highlighted in blue. And go ahead and press OK, and then it'll go ahead and put it in there. When you launch Plutonium, it'll be there. Now the Steam version's a little different, so uh, let's go check that out. So for the Steam version of Black Ops 1, you're going to want to use Game Mod to be able to access the mod. Um, I'll have this link down in the description, and it's just an easy download. You just click here on this button, but before you download it, what you need to do is you need to go on your desktop, right-click, go to New, and create a new folder. I'm just going to name mine Game Mod. You can obviously name yours whatever you want, but when you download Game Mod, obviously WinRAR is going to pop up. And then you're going to want to extract all the files that come with Game Mod into this folder or whatever folder you have. Then you need to go to the Steam version of Black Ops 1, and you're going to want to right-click where you see it in your library. You need to go down to Manage, and then over to Browse Local Files. This will bring up where the files are stored on your game in your computer. And it shouldn't have, uh, the obviously, the Black Ops mods, uh, the batch file. And it also won't have this mods uh, file, unless you've already had mods. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hold down shift and select everything from your game mod download. And you're going to want to drag it over into the main Steam folder. Uh, the way Steam files work, I'm pretty sure, is that if there are any malicious files or something that causes a game not to be able to load up, It'll reset all your files, so if anything happens, don't worry about it. Steam has it covered. Um, but anyways, when you drag it all in there, you should have your folder look exactly like mine. The only thing that you may not have is this mods folder right here. And all you have to do to get that is right-click underneath everything, go to new, go to folder, and make it mods. And then once you have the timer downloaded with WinRAR, you're going to want to put it in this mods folder right here. It has the direction of where you need to go on WinRAR up here at the top. So if you don't know exactly where to go in that process, just follow this. And it'll take you to the mods folder. And then just like it was on Plutonium, you want to make sure mods is hovered. And it, just put it right in there and it'll work when you boot it. When you start up your version of Steam with the mod, you don't want to start it up the normal way on Steam. Instead, you want to go into the files and you're going to want to select this Windows batch file. This will make it to where when you start up the game, it'll have all the regular, uh, like, it'll have campaign, multiplayer, zombies, and underneath zombies, it'll have a mod section where if you go under there, you can select the mod and you'll be able to play with the time. If y'all have any questions, let me know in the description. Um, 
I, as of right now, there's only one update on the timer, which is patch 1.1. If any more come out, it'll be on the main page, uh, as I previously stated. Or I will update it in the description of the video, and I'll let you know how it's updated. But thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoy the timer. And shout out to Zio for making this. Appreciate it.